Hello and welcome to Car Community High School. My name's Charlotte. And I'm Louis. And we write for the school magazine. Today we're going to find out more about sustainability. We're doing research on all the work being done to save energy and the environment in the school. Why don't we go see Miss Payton and see if she can give us some ideas? Yeah, good idea. How is ESD integrated into the curriculum? It covers recent developments um, in relation to the planet, also the current impact that we're having on the planet, and thinks about the future of the planet depending on what actions they might take. And they look at things like green issues, biodiversity, the ethical issues to do with uh, sustainability and conservation and so on as well. In addition to the curriculum, there's a recycling, reusing materials, there's the eco uh, committee that pupils can get involved in. There's conservation curry and conservation curry busies itself very much with maintaining and developing some of the, the green areas around the school. Can you tell us more about the art walk? The whole idea behind it was to make costumes, jewellery, hats, masks and so on out of recycled and reused materials and we had uh, Robin Harper, the member of the Scottish Car Parliament and Green Party who opened uh, the, the whole event by walking down the catwalk wearing a recycled Recycled scarf. Just the, the whole community aspect of it was super. How much paper do you guys recycle a week? Well, since we started, we've got about 2,000 kilograms since the start of S1. Why is it important to recycle paper? Uh, to stop the filling up a landfill and to stop cutting down the trees. Wow, I never knew we recycled so much. That's amazing. I know. I think the energy group's making sure they're just now. Do you want to go and see what's happening? Yeah, let's go. In the energy group, People from all different year groups are looking at different ways to reduce energy within the school. So what are you guys up to? Um, we've just got a couple of things that uh, these guys were using first and second year here. Um, this little box here is quite cool. Um, we've got a sort of miniature version of what we've got outside. A um, miniature wind turbine and a miniature solar panel. So just from the light that's coming through the window at the moment, uh, we can see that we're generating uh, just over three volts of uh, electricity. So what has the energy group done so far within the school? Um, well, last year we went round the school and we looked for ways we could improve the energy. The temperature, the water and the science was like way too hot. Is this in the taps? Yes. We've also taken on a big survey this year on the number of lights being left on in the classroom, especially after school. And so far we've noticed a 5% reduction in the number of lights that have been on. And that's a saving of about £600 over the space of the school year. I've heard that pupils are making pledges in school. What's all this about? Well, we had an energy week and we got, well, we tried to get all of the pupils to make pledges to try and save energy, to switch off the lights when leaving the room, switch off TVs and computers when they're not in use, and turn off the tap while brushing your teeth so you save water. It's so important to use less energy and everyone at Curry High School learns about this. If we're lucky, we can catch up with Mr. Marsh in his ESD class. Can anyone tell me what does education for sustainable development mean? Well, it means that um, we have the same things for um, our children's children's children, um, so it, they don't get wasted. How do you apply the things you learn in ESD? Well, it's much better for people to either cycle to school or to walk to school, which doesn't take any like, which doesn't make any greenhouse gases. Time to head outside and look at the wind turbine and solar panels. I think. What? Um, different things you actually have here. From renewable energy side we have an 11 kilowatt wind turbine which we fitted in the school grounds. We also have 30 kilowatts of solar panels. We'd also like to have all the data from the solar panels and from our wind turbine um, available in the network within the school. So the physics departments, maths, geography can use that as part of the curriculum. That brings us to the end of another school day, Louis. There's so much going on here to save energy and the environment. We've not even covered everything, but definitely enough for a great article. We'd better get on now. Thank you for coming to visit us at Curry High School. Bye. Bye.